Welcome to WebStyleBrush. You do not need JavaScript to implement scroll reveal animation in your website. CSS can do that. This animation and effect is pure CSS based. Implementing the perfect scroll reveal to selected elements using JavaScript is a bit tricky. You have to look for this specific jQuery plugin or npm package. Then you have to selectively apply scroll reveal and adjust its settings. With CSS, it's a matter of selecting the right element. Let's do it. This is our starter HTML document. I have used Bootstrap for only fonts. Let's fill it with some text. So this is our text. Just heading and dummy text. I have linked the CSS file with this document. Here is our CSS file. To make text prominent, I will use black background color and white text color in CSS and a bigger font size. Body background black, heading and paragraph color white. Like this. Okay, to start with, we will have to use keyframes rule. It controls the intermediate steps in a CSS animation sequence by defining styles for keyframes along the animation sequence. This is the name and here are starting and ending styles in keyframes rule. From to, from opacity zero and transform translate by 100 pixels to opacity one and transform translate y zero. From start, text will have zero opacity and it will be a little bit below than its original position. Ending point will have one opacity and back to original place with respect to Y level. Keyframes rule is defined. Now we have to apply it to HTML elements. I have headings and paragraphs. So I will apply this rule to headings and paragraphs using animation property. This is the name for keyframes rule, easy out both. Animation name is this one that we have defined here. Animation name. This property specifies the name of one or more keyframes add rules that describe the animation to apply to an element. I'm using both for animation fill mode. This is animation fill mode. Animation fill mode CSS property sets how a CSS animation applies styles to its target before and after its execution. It can be none, forwards, backwards, or both. I have used both. For animation timing function, I am going with easy out. This is animation timing function. It can be linear, easy out, steps, cubic bezier, or just ease. I am going with ease in out. After that, I am using animation timeline. View. Animation timeline. It's a CSS property that specifies the timeline that is used to control the progress of a CSS animation. It can be scroll, view, and more. I am going with view. Next, I will use here animation range. And for that, I will use entry and cover. Animation range. Animation range is a shorthand property is used to set the start and end of an animation's attachment range along its timeline, where along the timeline, an animation will start and end. So it can have these values, normal, cover, contain, entry, exit. I'm using entry 50% and cover 50%. I encourage you to see docs for these if you are not familiar with these properties. Okay, this is our configuration. And now see this. You can adjust these values according to your requirement. Take these values to fit your requirement or where you see these fit for your project.
So you see, we have used keyframes rule and animation CSS property on required CSS selectors or HTML elements. Animation, animation timeline, and animation range. And we get similar scroll reveal effect that we get using JavaScript. Your requirement can be different. You may have to adjust some values or CSS properties in keyframes rule to fit your needs. So try this out in projects. It's a lightweight CSS only solution to implement scroll reveal animation to your website. I will link the resources in the description. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.